Good afternoon. Welcome to the forecast discussion for April 21st, 2014. It's currently 12.30 p.m. We have temperatures throughout the region in the mid to upper 50s along the immediate coast, upper 50s to lower 60s over the rest of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. We do have a few mid 50s and lower 50s over portions of southeastern Long Island due to the influence from the Atlantic Ocean as we have a southerly to southeasterly wind over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Really high pressure sitting right overhead, so light and variable winds can be expected today, with temperatures rising into the mid to upper 60s over much of the region, including urban locations and over the interior. However, right along the coast, look for high temperatures, basically in the lower to mid 60s, possibly a few upper 50s over portions of southern Long Island. When we take a look at the latest surface map, you can see high pressure is basically sitting right over the uh, Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. And it's basically smacked right in between an area of low pressure well off of the North Carolina coast that produced periods of heavy rain this weekend over South Carolina and North Carolina. And we have another area of low pressure over the Great Lakes lifting northeast. And we are smacking between those two systems with scattered cloud cover and tranquil weather conditions. On the latest infrared satellite picture, this is called the rainbow image, uh, slightly different uh, cloud uh, color chroma key, basically. So what we have here is high pressure in place. Here's our area of low pressure over the Atlantic. This will remain out in the Atlantic and will move east-northeast into the northern Atlantic. This will be a major player for us down the road because it will help block up the, the entire pattern. So this is something definitely that we're going to be watching as it lifts up towards the Canadian Maritimes over the next 66 hours. Meanwhile, we have another area of low pressure and a series of disturbances developing over the plains. This is going to be important to watch because it's going to lead to the threat for isolated showers every day on through the rest of this week. Now, I, I want to stress this will not be in any way, shape, or form a washout. Just every day, this is going to be a threat for an isolated shower here or there. Most locations will remain completely dry. The reason why it's only going to be an isolated threat is that the majority of the lifting with this disturbance will be focused towards the St. Lawrence River Valley, which is basically southeastern Canada and northern New England. We'll be on the southern edge of this low pressure system and upper level trough. And so basically what that means is that we are furthest away from the best lifting and dynamics. So as a result, some sky cloud cover, a cloudy day here and there with an easterly wind, and an isolated shower here or there. Not much in the way of rainfall at all is expected this week. But you could tell when disturbances are approaching and when they're exiting based on the temperatures. When they're approaching, temperatures are going to be pretty warm in the 60s and 70s. When they're exiting, you're going to have more of a northerly to northeasterly wind, and that's going to lead to temperatures struggling in the upper 50s to lower 60s. So moving forward, you'll see exactly when these disturbances move through and how they'll impact your temperatures based on the influence from the Atlantic Ocean. As far as the radar is concerned, really, again, much of the East Coast is high and dry. But you can see the influence of the disturbances lifting through the Mississippi River Valley and heading towards the east with a few scattered showers over the Mississippi River Valley up into the Great Lakes. And you can see what happens to those disturbances once they reach the St. Lawrence River Valley as they are widely scattered and isolated. And that's pretty much what we're going to be dealing with on through the rest of this week a few isolated showers here and there but as you can see much of western New York is dry and that's basically what we're going to expect through the rest of this week and into next weekend. As far as the water vapor satellite picture is concerned you can see our negative NAO block really starting to develop and that's going to keep this whole pattern locked in and keep a high pressure system locked in right around the Canadian Maritimes to force these disturbances to lift north and then push east and weaken as they do so. Meanwhile, we have a nice trough over the Gulf of Alaska that's starting to shift back to the, towards the west, towards the Aleutian Islands. That's going to allow a nice ridge to develop in the west, a trough in the central part of the country, and towards the Great Lakes, keeping us very active over the next several days. But again, these disturbances are going to be pretty weak, moisture-starved, as the subtropical jet stream is pushed to the south, and overall, we end up with a rather interesting pattern, volatile pattern, 
as far as temperatures are concerned. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance. I'm going to use the GFS model guidance for today. You could have used the Canadian, the European, the UK Met. They all are pretty much in strong agreement on the overall pattern and also the details over the next seven days. So for this evening, look for a scattered cloud cover, temperatures falling into the mid to upper 40s for lows. For tomorrow afternoon, temperatures will rebound into the upper 60s to lower 70s. Some locations will push into the mid 70s, especially in the Delaware River Valley. And as a result, rather mild conditions can be expected with temperatures well above normal. Now, if you're right along the coast or if you're over Long Island, look for lower to mid 60s for highs as we get a little bit more of an influence from the Atlantic Ocean. Now, notice what's happening here with the precipitation. Pretty impressive here, right? Look where all the liftings focus, basically towards the Great Lakes. Look what happens once that disturbance moves through, the showers start to collapse, the best lifting and dynamics are focused more towards the north of the region. Again, the showers will be isolated, but where, where they develop, they'll be capable of some heavy downpours late tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. For Wednesday, high pressure will be in control. Now notice, we now have the low pressure system to the east of the region with a northerly wind in place. So Wednesday, we'll have temperatures in the mid to upper 40s for lows and then struggling in the upper 50s to lower 60s for highs throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area with a nice northerly flow in place. For Thursday, high pressure is in place. Sky cloud cover can't rule out an extremely isolated shower, but for the most part, dry conditions can be expected. A little bit milder, temperatures basically near normal in the upper 30s to lower 40s for lows and mid 60s for highs. On Friday, we have another disturbance that's going to be approaching from the west. This one's going to be even weaker with showers widely scattered to isolated in nature. Not very impressive either on Friday. Ahead of this low pressure system, temperatures will warm up into the mid to upper 40s for lows and lower to mid 70s for highs. Lower to mid 60s over southern Long Island, mid to upper 60s over the rest of the coastal region. For Saturday, again, another disturbance moves through with the threat for a few isolated showers. Not a washout in any way, shape, or form. Low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s, high temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s, lower to mid 70s along the immediate coast. And then again for Sunday, High pressure will be in control, and this will continue on through Monday. Notice we have a very impressive upper level load over the Gulf of Maine, lifting up towards the Canadian Maritimes. So we're going to be under the influence of a nice, crisp Canadian air mass. So look for very dry air, kind of a refreshing air mass, to be honest with you, with scattered cloud cover. Temperatures a bit on the cool side, upper 30s to lower 40s for lows, and lower to mid 60s for highs for Sunday and for Monday, but it will be dry, it will be clear. It'll actually be a very nice end to the weekend if you don't mind wearing a light jacket. Well, that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn.